I work on create self-learning algorithms um, that can be used for creating uh, very precise localized weather forecasts that have industrial applications. So for example, for wind farms, if you have very precise um, predictions of what the wind speeds will be in the future at that particular location, right, the wind farm can better manage their uh, energy production. Right? Or uh, if you are a power grid, right, um, if you know that certain substations are going to see a heat wave, right, then the power demand is going to go up. Right? So if they have advanced information about the fact that there's going to be a heat wave in you know, some particular substation, they can better manage their uh, power production and assign more electricity to that uh, region. Right? And if you're a transportation operator, um, if you have uh, access to advanced severe weather warnings, you can better schedule the operation so that uh, you know, your customers don't get affected. So I work on creating very highly localized, very precise weather forecasting models at uh, thousands and thousands of locations. So I started working way back in like 2005 on this. And then I started realizing that to create a weather forecasting model can take months or years. Right? And that's where I saw the gap was. If you manage to create a very accurate model, it's very useful. But you cannot scale it up right, to, to a lot of locations. And, and that's where I started out you know, in 2005. And it's, been a, it's, it's taken me almost like seven years to make in, in, what you call improvements. And right now I'm at a stage in which we can create very accurate weather models for almost any place on Earth, you know, provided there are a reasonable number of weather stations near that location.